Good morning. In this lesson, I would like to introduce you to the different and possible steps we encountered when doing a research and implementation of an urban forestry plan. The case study I will use is Forestami in the metropolitan area of Milano, Italy. Forestami is a case study for the research and implementation of urban forestry within the Greater Milano. The partners of the project are Politecnico di Milano, Città Metropolitana di Milano, Comune di Milano, Parco Agricolo Sud Milano, Parco Nord Milano, ERSAF, Fondazione di Comunità di Milano. The research is financed by Fondazione Falc and Sistemi Urbani. The mission of Forestami is to plant 3 million trees by 2030 within the metropolitan area of Milan. The project aims at involving citizens, associations, public and private companies to contribute with actions that has a positive impact on their own future and on the future of new generation raising awareness on the values of trees and urban forestry as an essential contribution to the well-being of the places we live in, in terms of environmental, social and economic benefits of improved quality of life. When embarking in such a project, there are a lot of elements and consideration to be taken into account. And these elements do not follow a sequential order. More than a sequence of different action, you need to take into account multiple operations to be taken into consideration. I would like, among the many activities which we implement, to focus on four crucial considerations. The first is to understand which are the spaces that mostly need urban forestry. A second element is to understand if there is enough space to plant the trees. The third element regards, of course, the actual available space, which is in terms of property available to plant. And that at the same time, we need to create the space for the trees by considering that the people that will see the trees planted and growing will love and appreciate them. For this reason, we need to work hard to provide information and knowledge on the benefits of urban forest and trees. To my point of view, all these considerations need to be put into practice, as only by considering all of them, you really have the chance to have a vision, a plan to implement, and to possibly have the engagement and ownership of the citizens. I want to elaborate a bit on this consideration. The first question when to embark in such a project is to understand our city, our cities. So where to plant is the first question in order to map the priorities. For instance, as Forestami was mainly studied in environmental context, the first element we studied is actually where the land is impermeable, to understand the balance between permeable and impermeable surfaces. Black areas are the areas where the surface is already occupied and sealed. It means that to plant trees in those areas, you need to deseal, to change the land use, to pass from grey to green surfaces. The second element regard the temperatures to understand which areas are more vulnerable for the urban Italian effect. This map shows the temperature on the 4th of August 2017 during the day. It means that, of course, red areas are the ones where trees are mostly needed. But the expectation is that there will be few available land to be planted, and a lot of effort is to be done in order to provide that effective change. The third element regards the potential runoff, to understand from one side which are the areas prone to floods, and on the other side to understand which areas can be desealed. The fourth element is the estimation of the existing canopy cover, which is the surface of all canopies of the existing trees. This is a very important information as it maps all the existing trees, both in public and private areas. And I repeat it, public and private areas. It is a seminal information because it provides and maps all the trees and also provides the idea that all the areas can be considered and relevant to make the transformation of our urban environment. The tree canopy cover within the metropolitan area of Milan is calculated around 16.5%. The second question, when to embark in such a project, is to map the potential of change. So the second question would be, where to plant in order to map the potential? We started from the study of the urban forestry typologies proposed by FAO. Tree-lined avenues, small squares, small parks, urban and peri-urban forest and woods, green buildings, other trees and green areas, and then we try to understand these typologies within the Milanese context with specific focus. And then to the right, 
we study specific areas of interest, which is very important to us, as with these areas we provide also a vision to the different actors that we meet when we discuss the potential of change within our metropolitan area. We also study the potential by checking satellite maps and land use maps, and then we cross-reference info and we tested it with surveys. The result is that we can host more than 3 million trees if we want to. As you remember, it's important to create awareness on what we are doing, why we are doing it, and acknowledging all the citizens of our studies. We decided to create an interactive map available at www.forestami.org where the potential we have calculated is available to all, at the small scale of the street, to the park, up to the metropolitan area. Where to plant, creating the spaces for the trees. This is important because we map the existing, we map the potential, but it's not enough. We need to map and to understand the willingness of the different actors to provide the space for the trees. Therefore, we are daily engaged in the discussion with the different municipalities. Our engagement within the metropolitan area of Milan consists of the discussion, interaction, engagement, and if there is the willingness to plant to the design within the 133 municipalities included into the metropolitan area. At the moment, in 2022, 55 municipalities have already signed a memorandum of understanding to plant in trees in, within Forestami. What we do is to organize the availabilities of the different areas in a database. This is important so that we know which kind of project we can design, but also to work among the different municipalities and eventually engage many other stakeholders, not just the public ones. We plant every year, from October, November until March, April, depending on the season, if it's cold, dry, hot, snowy, raining. Since we started, we planted more than 330,000 trees and shrubs in our cities. COVID pandemic did not help us with the organization of dissemination events and planting campaign. This year, 2022, is the first time we were able to host some plantation activities in presence. We organized some campaigns, such as Custodishimi, together with ERSAF, to involve citizens and to provide information and knowledge to all the people that want to know more about trees and shrubs in our cities. Thank you.